hear me? Is this loud enough? Yes, sir. Uh, good evening, everybody, and thank you for, for coming out to this public meeting. Uh, my name is Myron Arnowit. I'm the Pennsylvania State Director for Clean Water Action. And uh, uh, I'm just going to go over uh, a few items in terms of uh, how this meeting is, is, going, to, is going to work, and uh, then we can get right into it. Um, uh, we are, excuse me? Okay. Um, there are, uh, are going to be a couple of presentations, although first, uh, we have invited the president of Waste Treatment Corporation. Um, if he would like to say something uh, at this meeting, uh, is he is he in the room? Um, okay. Uh, we also invited the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection to come and share their perspective. Is there a representative from DEP here in the room? All right, well, uh, for the moment then, I will be uh, doing a presentation on behalf of Clean Water Action. And then Dan Risto uh, from uh, here in Warren is going to be moderating the Q&A section uh, following my presentation. Um, there will be a mic um, that he will get around to people who would like to ask, who would like to ask questions um, uh, when, we get to that, when we get to that section. Um, okay. Great. Well, I'll just dive right into it then. Uh, so, um, some folks may be wondering who Clean Water Action is. We are uh, an environmental organization that's been around since the early 70s. Uh, we are uh, across the country, uh, and we've been here in Pennsylvania um, since the mid-80s, since about 1985. The Pittsburgh office was actually our first office we opened up here in Pennsylvania. We have about 100,000 members in the state, including about 150 uh, members here in the Warren area. We've worked on uh, making sure that we have uh, clean, safe drinking water, making sure our, our rivers and our environment are, are well protected. Um, so one of the issues that we've been concerned about here in Pennsylvania is uh, gas drilling wastewater. Um, and so first of all, to start out, like where does it all come from? Uh, gas drilling uh, always involves a certain amount of wastewater being produced in the process, whether it's um, utilizing um, fracking, uh, as in the Marcellus Shale wells and some other wells, um, or just a conventional gas well. Um, uh, there, there is a great amount of gas drilling wastewater that is being produced in the state right now, especially because of the Marcellus Shale drilling, um, over 5 million gallons a day, um, and the number keeps, keeps going up as we get more wells in the state. Just from the Marcellus Shale wells uh, is being produced in terms of gas drilling wastewater. Um, it is uh, a, a substance that has a, a great deal of contaminants and also a real mix of contaminants, very challenging. Uh, mix of contaminants to, to treat properly. Uh, there are salts such as chlorides and bromides, um, uh, all sorts of different kinds of heavy metals including arsenic, um, as well as chemical additives that folks have, have heard about that is used in the hydraulic fracturing process, um, as well as uh, radioactive compounds. Uh, some of these, some of these uh, contaminants are found um, in the in the rock itself, in the shale itself, and some of them are, are added, such as, as the chemicals used in fracking. Okay, so Waste Treatment Corporation um, here in town and gas drilling wastewater. There are uh, this is a company that's uh, been here a while, obviously. Um, folks here know this better, uh, best of all. Um, and Waste Treatment Corporation. Uh, certainly started out taking uh, wastewater from conventional gas wells in the area. Um, uh, this is sometimes referred to as brine. Uh, most of this wastewater is composed of uh, very salty, very salty water, obviously, um, why it's called brine, uh, that actually comes from the, where the gas is being produced from and, the, and it comes up the gas well. The um, uh, Marcella Shale wastewater 
is something that Waste Treatment Corporation did certainly spend some time um, <clears throat> taking and processing and discharging wastewater from Marcellus Shale Wells um, that, was, that was very publicly known for a few years. Um, what is happening right now is an interesting question and one that we have a question about in terms of uh, what Waste Treatment Corporation is doing in terms of its operations right now. Um, obviously there is a discharge going on um, into the Allegheny River um, that, that Waste Treatment Corporation has a permit from DEP for. Um, however, all of the gas operations, whether they're conventional operations or Marcellus Shale um, drilling, um, report to the state that all the waste they're sending to Waste Treatment Corporation is, for, um, to, be, is, is to be recycled. In other words, the company takes it in, um, processes it, and then sends it back out to gas companies for um, use in other fracturing jobs. Um, uh, we would like to understand better um, why everyone's reporting that this gas wastewater is being recycled when clearly there's a discharge into the river. So um, back to the question in terms of what we call this forum, what is going into the Allegheny River? Um, uh, last year in the fall, um, the State Department of Environmental Protection, as part of their study of uh, Waste Treatment Corporation's discharge and part of their process in renewing um, Waste Treatment's permit, uh, they did a study where they took samples in the river and they took samples um, downstream of Waste Treatment Corporation's discharge, they took samples upstream. Um, they wanted to see what kind of impact the company's discharge was having on the river in terms of water quality, in terms of um, life in the river. Um, and uh, uh, the samples um, found that there is a significant level of various contaminants that are associated with gas drilling wastewater and that are being discharged from waste treatment being found in the river. Um, very, uh, very high levels of salt, um, very high levels of certain kinds of metals like strontium, um, and also radioactive compounds were being found in the riverbed sediment downstream of Waste Treatment Corporation, but not upstream. Um, so DEP felt confident that what they were seeing was the effects of the discharge from um, Waste Treatment's uh, a discharge pipe and not you know, some historical contamination that had happened in the river a long time ago. Um, we're especially concerned that not only was there a problem in terms of the water samples, but especially contamination of the riverbed sediment to us is a concern in terms of that's something that's building up in the river, uh, which can eventually get into the food chain. And that's, that's definitely a longer term concern in terms of uh, something that, that's going to need to be cleaned up here. Um, the, other, the other concern we have over the finding of some of the radioactive compounds is that there's, um, that shows more evidence that the, this wastewater is at least in part coming from unconventional or Marcellus Shale wells, which have uh, much more of the radioactivity. <coughs> um, this is just a map of Warren just to show um, where, um, uh, where this discharge is happening and some of the concerns that we've heard from residents um, in the area about this, um, Waste Stream Incorporation is of course right, right there in the middle and just downstream of it where you have Beth's Park and the boat launch. It's obviously an area where there's a lot of recreational activities, a, a lot of contact that people have with the river. So there's, there's definitely concern about um, having a discharge there that could potentially be impacting other people's use of the river. Okay, so um, as you heard me say, Waste Stream Corporation obviously has a permit from the State Department of Environmental Protection, and DEP issued the permit that Waste Treatment is using right now in 2003. Um, and uh, it, it might be surprising to know that, that when DEP issued this permit in 2003, they did not actually authorize a company to discharge oil and gas wastewater into the river. Um, the company, um, when they applied for that permit, um, never gave the state um, specifics about what kind of contaminants from oil and gas wastewater would be going into the river, so the state could not authorize it. Um, we have a, um, a section here 
um, from their 2003 permits, which specifically says that there's this one kind of waste that the company can take in for discharge into the river, which is metal bearing waste, and that these other categories of waste, which would include um, gas drilling wastewater, these are prohibited. Um, so this is one of our big concerns, is that the permit that the state's given the, the company um, does not cover the kinds of wastewater that's actually being discharged. And this is one of the reasons why um, Clean Water Action um, filed a notice under the Clean Water Act that we think there are violations of the Clean Water Act going on right now. Um, there have also been a number of permit violations um, of this permit in 2003. If you look at the record, and these are all from um, sampling that the company is required to take every month and they send into the state, um, uh, you know, what kind of contaminants are in their discharge. And the, so the company has self-reported um, over 400 violations of their permit limits. Um, some of the metals that they have discharge in greater amounts than their permit allows um, are arsenic, selenium, um, and titanium. Um, there also were some pH violations, both um, too acidic and too alkaline. Um, in 2011, uh, DEP did um, reach a consent agreement with waste treatment and fined them $100,000 for some of these violations, although other violations continue to happen after um, that agreement was reached. Um, okay, so uh, in general, when you have a permit in the Clean Water Act to discharge um, uh, wastewater, um, that permit is supposed to last for five years. So they gave them a permit in 2003, now it's 2008, that permit is supposed to be renewed. Waste treatment didn't apply for their renewal. Um, however, DEP um, has not actually issued a renewed permit for waste treatment. They are allowing them to keep using their 2003 permit. Um, in 2010, they did issue what's called a draft permit, it's kind of a, a proposed permit, and the public gets a chance to comment on it. Um, that, that happened in 2010, there was a public comment period. Uh, our organization, Clean Water Action, did comment on the proposed permit at that time. Um, but we never heard anything again from DEP. DEP never finalized the permit, um, and they've actually spent five years on this re-permitting process, which is, you know, Essentially, Waste Stream has been using a permit for five for ten years that's supposed to only be for five years. So we're still waiting for DEP to make a decision there. Um, now I know that uh, you know there's obviously concern from anyone who um, works at Waste Treatment Corporation or is concerned about um, that that business in this community in terms of whether our goal is just that we want the company to, to be shut down. And I, and I want to assure people that. Um, from my perspective at Clean Water Action, that is, is the farthest thing from the truth. Um, we think that there are a number of um, actions which Waste Treatment Corporation needs to, needs to take, but there are quite a few options, and there are options that other companies um, in the state um, involved in the gas drilling industry have, um, have been successfully taken. So one of the options is obviously that the company should stop taking waste that they don't have the ability to properly treat. So if you can't remove um, um, salt from your waste stream um, and you know the current discharges we're seeing from the DEP sampling and from the reporting that waste treatment does to the state um, this is water that's twice as salty as seawater that we're putting into the Allegheny River um, that is uh, if, if you can't treat that um, then uh, you know that's not the right waste stream for for what the technology your plant has now one option is of course to improve the treatment technology at your plant. There are other plants, um, both here in Pennsylvania and, and outside the state, um, that have uh, technology that could remove some of these contaminants that we're concerned about. Um, and then a, a third option is that, um, uh, and this is actually maybe one of the more common options, is that Waste Treatment Corporation could become a plant that simply completely recycles um, wastewater from gas drilling, um, so that you would take in you would take in a, a waste stream, treat it to a certain level, and then send it out for reuse, as opposed to discharging any of it into the river. Um, this is something which a number of companies that were thinking about discharging gas drilling wastewater in other parts of the state 
um, have been able to successfully do. Um, our organization um, uh, reached an agreement with DP and a company in southwest Pennsylvania um, that wanted to discharge a large amount of gas drilling wastewater into the Monongahela River. Um, and they opted to go to become essentially a, a, a wastewater recycler and not discharge at all. So um, there, are, there are a lot of options uh, for, uh, for companies like Waste Treatment to comply with the Clean Water Act and stay in business and make a profit and keep people employed. Um, okay, so uh, if um, Mr. Arnold is not here yet, uh, are you interested in making a statement? Yes. Okay, would you like to come up front here? I don't know if I actually need to. I can't do it. Yeah, send them that microphone here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make this real brief. Okay. Um, my name is Mike Arnold. I'm waste, um, Vice President of Waste Treatment Corporation. Uh, you can't hear me? I'm speaking right into it. Yeah, that's good. Um, however, uh, we're a, a company in the community that provides jobs for the community. We provide a service for the oil and gas industry. 